thanks, guys. After hearing that Fred Fuller Oil filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in federal court, some people entered into those pre buy contracts to lock in their rates, obviously worried that come winter that money will be gone and their tanks will be empty anyway. But today, Governor Hassan confirmed there may be finally a happy ending to all this. With the temperatures dropping, the latest news regarding Fred Fuller Oil really couldn't come soon enough. We understand that there may be a potential buyer, which would be another uh, good piece of news because that would also uh, prevent some of those customers from being in the same situation they were in last winter. As the company goes through transition and what could be a lengthy timetable, some are calling a sale a best case scenario, with a new unidentified player emerging as Fred Fuller goes through the bankruptcy process. And that player will assume the obligations for the pre buy contracts and uh, the other obligations that Fred Fuller has to the consumers and we're going to be in court uh, doing everything we can to make that happen. After a winter of discontent for Fred Fuller customers where delivery problems plagued the company, the New Hampshire Heating Oil Council is quick to point out there are others ready to pick up the slack. Uh, but make sure that um, that you're if you're going to make a move that you go to somebody that you feel comfortable with. But for those locked in pre-buy contracts, switching companies may not be an option. The good news is help may be on the way. And one warming thought is that this winter, the sticker shock might not be as bad. Prices are, are actually lower than, than they have been, um, and uh, supply is in good shape. Well, good news. Also, on the first of the year, a new law will go into effect strengthening restrictions on those pre buy contracts, which the Attorney General's office hopes will go a long way toward avoiding another company and its customers from being caught in a crunch like this one ever again. Reporting live, Josh McKelvin, WMUR News 9.